all right so i'm in lolita and it's been a little bit since i did a lolita vlog but yo i needed to talk about this because <sighs> china is at it again so okay so it came down the pike and i'm sorry i'm looking down because i'm looking at my other phone because i need it in a bit but it came down the pike that china was instant the way it was presented to me at first was that china had instituted a new rule that basically they could start scooping up lolitas because people felt some kind of way about lolita dress that it hurt quote unquote hurts the chinese spirit so i don't know how long this is going to be but i kind of wanted to talk about it caveats to before i start talking about any of this one i am not a political science major i was a former business major and I'm not going to give you slack-ass geopolitical issues and slack-ass um, political, international political science 101 because I don't know the entirety of that kind of situation, the political situation that's driving this in China. Two, caveat number two. I am going to mispronounce things, and I apologize. And I'm going to tell you, if I ever go back to Germany and somebody asks me why don't I speak German, I'm going to tell y'all the same thing that I'm going to explain for here, that I'm going to mispronounce things. I am a product of the American education system. We don't learn other languages. And if we learn another language, it's generally Spanish and nothing like Mandarin unless you go to a fancy school, because I've seen some fancy school curriculums that offer Mandarin. I didn't go to one of those fancy schools. I went to a public school, so it is what it is. But I'm going to mispronounce things. I'm going to give you slacky, <laughs> or I'm going to give you minimal, like, slacky um, geopolitical discussions. But I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum because, again, I'm not a political scientist. I don't know. And I don't know what could possibly be driving this in China. So... This article that I'm pro primarily going to be reading from is from is an opinion piece from the South the South China Morning Post, and basically it is an it's an opinion piece, and it says China's proposed ban on hurtful clothing is a worrying sign of advancing intolerance in society. So. It's not a law yet. The way, like I said in the beginning, that this was presented to me was that it was already in in, a, in law and like written in the history books, basically, and written in all the legal books. And they were going to start scooping up Lolita's at any moment. So it's a proposed law, meaning that they are talking about enacting this as, you know, what they want to do in their country for whatever reason i have no idea like i said i have no idea what's driving this the minimal things that i kind of know about current chinese like what's going on in china is their economic like situation is kind of precarious and <laughs> like it just and the last thing i remember hearing and this was last year was there were a lot of protests because of Basically, they're building all these apartments and houses and stuff, but they weren't really, from what I understand, they weren't really building those sort of things. And, like, people were just dumping all their money into having a nice place to live. And then a lot of these companies that were these developers went belly up, partially due to the pandemic, partially due to, like, frivolity. <laughs> Basically taking people's money and rolling around naked with it. And... It caused the housing market to collapse and people were pouring all this money to try to pay down the mortgage and their money wasn't going anywhere and it and like a lot of banks closed as well and it just left people angry and protests aren't a thing in China so they were cracking down on these protests kind of by saying that people had COVID and they were walling them into their house <laughs> like oh no they had COVID why aren't you sending them to the hospital covid so it was a situation like that which is not good walling people into their homes to keep them from protesting is not good so uh, 
I that was like the last thing I remember super hearing about like stuff going on in China. I don't kind of keep up with China, which I should keep up with China, but it, they don't really let a, let a lot of their information come out anyway. They don't want people to know the fucked up shit that they do. So it's kind of like if if the Chinese communists, or, you know what? I don't want to call them the Chinese Communist Party. Um, when I was living in Germany, they were called the, um, they were calling China CRP, the People's Republic of China. And in the U.S. and I think in the U.K. and like a bunch of other regions, they call it the CCP, the China Communist Party. Um, technically, because I went on a little bit of a dive to figure out what communism is, what China's communism is, and kind of what you know how it all ties together and it doesn't match up with at least the marxist view of communism basically the marxist view of communism and again i am not a political scientist so don't jump on my ass this is just what i've read on fucking encyclopedia britannica is basically the marxist view of communism is people own stuff i thought it was the government owned everything and you're supposed to divvy the shit up equally i think that's the lenin view of communism but the marxist view of communism is people like people like me people like you just people own quote the means of production i.e factories i.e coal mines i.e gold mines i.e like if there were mining co cobalt somewhere those mines would be run by people like me people like you that's what they would do and then they would take that money and distribute it amongst the community evenly and that is what the fuck marxist view of communism is but the Lenin is i think the Lenin view of communism is Basically, the government owns everything, and we'll give you shit, and, like, you just gonna deal with that. But nobody, in, in the Marxist view, and in the Lenin view, nobody owns stuff. It's, it's basically communal living. It's, like, completely communal living, and everything is divided equally. I'm not here to tell you if it's right, wrong, good, bad. I don't give a shit about that, but... Basically, how it boils down to China, and I could not get a clear understanding of that, is they're just like, well, we're just communists. <laughs> and it's like, okay, what do you do? What is the definition? I don't know, but that's what we're doing. And really, the modern view, the modern political situation in China is it's kind of an elected dictatorship with a heavy hyper capitalist bend so i don't know what the fuck is going on there but i'm not calling it the ccp i'm calling it the crp and just to get back swing it back to the lolita situation basically the government wants it to be where you're not wearing clothes that hurt the spirit of china now this and this all falls into their morality clauses Okay, so when I started looking up the morality clause for China, I was like, is this like a new thing? No, the morality clause has been going around since 2019. And I was trying to find what is exactly in their morality clause and I could not get a clear definition. And I don't read or speak Mandarin, so I don't think I could even go on a Chinese website to get information on that you know what i'm saying so when i looked up that i'm like okay so these morality laws have been going around for a while now what is the situation why they're targeting clothes so there's not there's not an exact reason why they're trying to target the clothes that people wear my biggest guess is they're really wanting people in china to i guess dress less western-esque and start dressing more in like traditional chinese clothing and here's where it gets fucked up and here's where i can see where the lolita community could be adversely affected by this and ugh. so I'm wearing Infanta today, and this is a Chinese Taobao brand, and 
basically it's based on victorian lolita is based in victorian lolita victorian lolita victorian children's clothes so it's not even though it was pretty much created in japan which china and japan have a serious few with one another and i get it i read about the atrocities that japan was doing in world war ii it is bad so i get where china's pissed off with japan i get it i'm not saying they shouldn't be pissed off because the fucked up shit that japan was doing in world war ii was just like okay so i get it so and i understand you know you got this kind of not blood feud but kind of like this we fucking hate you thing going on with you with, with your neighbor basically so you don't want anything having to do if it, it was something that you're i don't care if your neighbor was handing out kittens as a as a public policy like we'll give every japanese citizen a kitten if japan was doing that and, and china was like we're no nobody's getting kittens we're, in fact nobody's allowed to adopt a kitten until it's a full-fledged cat so no so i get it i understand i get it but i don't understand this whole hurts the the spirit who's measuring this and what is it for? What is it even for? I mean, I get that you're trying to crack down on Western sympathies and you don't want people getting too, like, buddy-buddy, chummy-chummy with the West because, one, that would fuck up your whole, oh, we got people by the ass and that's the way we likes it. I get that. But it's like at a time where people are already not really amused with you, do you really think this is, like, the avenue you should be going on to telling people oh you can't dress like that because fuck them people it's an option you can take but i don't see why the fuck you would take that option but they're just talking about it now it is a proposed um amendment to basically their morality fucking situation and the problem is it's crouching ever so it's, it's slowly dribbly inching toward the nonsense that went on during the cultural revolution in china which that was a whole fucking shit show so i don't know i honestly don't know and i know i think the the concern not only for the safety of chinese lolitas is what's going on with with, with the rest of the lolita community for china and for the chinese lolita community the other concern is how is this going to affect Taobao? Honestly, I don't think this is going to affect Taobao that much. Two things. One, China is perfectly fine with telling people in China, you can't wear this. Like, you, Infanta, you cannot wear this dress. It's not for you, Chinese citizen. But if Infanta wants to sell, sell their whatever to other countries, to other fools in other countries, I mean, I know they call Xi Jinping, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, I know they call him Winnie the Pooh. I don't like calling him Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is nice. Winnie the Pooh wants to help his friends and his community in the Hundred Acre Woods. I started calling him Tyrannical Pooh because... You're a fucking tyrant, bro. So, tyrannical poo loves money. That's why I'm saying it's not really communist. It's a elected dictatorship with a hyper-capitalistic bend. So, but in, with a hyper-capitalistic bend, tyranny poo wants cash. You can sell your clothes to whoever outside of China. You just can't sell them within China. So, I don't think it would affect the Taobao market for the West they would still probably do stuff you just probably won't see people you might not see models wearing or at least out like you know how when they when you see a Taobao picture people are out on the streets or out in like the woods or some shit you probably won't see pictures like that anymore but it, i don't think they're gonna cold turkey you can't manufacture this stuff at all you can sell it to the west you just can't sell it here so I don't think it would affect the Taobao market for the West. 
it just would affect the Lolitas in China. They couldn't wear stuff like this anymore. There is, and I looked this up, because I do remember this being a thing, something called, and I'm going to mispronounce it, and please don't shoot the messenger. Key Lolita is with the high neck collar. That's like the, it used to be called a Mandarin collar. I don't know what they call it anymore. Um, stuff like that. You could wear Key Lolita, but what if you don't like Key Lolita? What if you like wearing stuff like this? That is, it's more like your taste. So, you could probably wear that as your Lolita. And, I mean, some of the Key Lolita stuff is gorgeous. I was reading up on Key Lolita before I did this, and they were like, well, if you're not Chinese, it could be considered cultural appropriation. I am starting to dislike that term, and then people are like, intent is not the only thing intent shouldn't even be a part of it i'm like how should not intent be a part of cultural appropriation when it is a driving factor in it but that is a discussion for another day but i'm starting to not like it because there is a such thing as gatekeeping some shit story for another day arguments for another day i'm still going to die on that hill and i don't give a shit what anybody says i still say cultural intent appropriation goes with intent i don't give a fuck what anybody says i remember somebody had a good argument as to why intent wasn't but i'm gonna die on that fucking hill story for another day let me get back on point so basically <sighs> chinese little leaders will be extremely limited and and what they'll publicly be able to wear. People are honestly, from what I understand, trying to fight back against this proposed law, a po proposed amendment to this, to their morality clauses. That is such a sticky wicket. That is, remember when I talked about, like I wanna say a year or two ago, the doki doki loki doki doki situation where they weren't gonna order from a bunch of companies that supported the the Uyghur slave labor cotton and remember when I told you it the government will the Chinese government is gonna scoop people up and if billionaires in China can't fight against the government what can one lone Lolita do against them I mean, you should fight for the things that you believe in. I am a firm believer in it. If it's something that you believe in, you should fight for it. But I understand the need for self-preservation as well. So it just leaves me in this like, I don't really know. I don't know the right thing for this. I really don't think it's going to affect us in the West. That is my own personal belief. I don't think it'll affect us in the West. It'll affect Lolitas in China, and that's just terrible. I don't want to be the one to say it, it doesn't seem like they have a lot going anyway, but because I don't live there and I don't know. And quite frankly, the United States, if certain swaths of people, let's just say, got their way, we would be an electoral dictatorship with a heavy emphasis on capitalism. That's what some people around here are fighting for currently, and they won't say shit, but that's what the fuck it's looking like, so I don't know. But it's so hard when you have a government that's already really tyrannical, and if they scooped up billionaires, what the fuck is some random Lolita going to face, you know? And it just sucks. I'm hoping that with all the political shenanigans going on in China, even if they're trying to keep it a secret, that they will not do this. It does not serve a good purpose. I don't, see, and I don't understand how you plan on regulating. I mean, it's gonna, cause that's what the um article, the Chinese, um the South China Morning Post, that's what they were saying. It's, it's gonna fall on the police and individuals to do that and, and to, to like follow through. And like, what if you're just wearing like a pair of pants like just a my husband was like what if somebody's wearing jeans like is that gonna hurt chinese like spirit and i'm like what if you're just wearing a regular everyday sundress somebody could take offense to that and be like and calling the cops and getting some girls scooped up and that's not right so what the fuck is <laughs> i don't see what the fuck 
purpose this serves in in the long run so it's just ugh. it's just so frustrating it's it's so fucking frustrating and hold up a second sorry my husband walked in but um yeah, I'm reading this over, and it says, If the amendment becomes law, the power to define those terms falls to individual police officers. That's a situation that's rife for fucking abuse. What if a woman had dated a police officer, and she liked to just wear regular Western clothes, didn't even have to be anything like fucking Lolita or anything like that. She's just wearing a regular ass sundress. She breaks up with her boyfriend. He's like, oh, your dress is offending me, and scoops her up under this proposed. It's just, mm -mm. it's just, just a situation that's just rife for people to be fucking doing, cutting up and doing fucked up shit. So, it's the same issues I have with, with, I'm not going to say, it. yes I am. It's the same issues I have with the fucking abortion laws in the South. It's just, it's a situation that's rife, that, that people are going to use to exploit and use as like retaliatory shit. So, I don't like it, but right now it is not the law. It is a, a proposed amendment to their to their laws i'm hoping that tyrannical poo just decides okay it, the juice ain't worth the squeeze in this shit let's just leave it the fuck alone and we'll swoop back to it like hopefully never but like at a later point in time when people's eyeballs aren't on us all hard <sighs> what a fucking trip why do we have to go and i'm not look i'm not out here a flag waving american <laughs> I know we do fucked up shit, but try to tell an American motherfucker what the fuck to wear. You'd be lucky if you got punched. Punch is get is the least of it around here. So it's just I don't I don't I don't get regulating how somebody dresses. I don't fucking get it, but that ain't my dog, that ain't my fight. So that is all I have. And if this is confusing, I am so sorry. It's just it's just such a deeply bizarre issue. And it's, I don't understand what's driving it. Like, I don't get it. I just don't understand it. But it, maybe it's not for me to understand. But again, I don't think it's going to be a situation that's going to affect the West. I do believe the Talbell companies will continue like without an issue because you can sell shit to the West, but you just can't sell it within China. But in chinese lolitas it'll fucking suck you won't be able to wear like the cute 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 like ap baby you won't be able to wear that but you'll have the key lolita and some of that is gorgeous but if that's not really what you like it's not fair that you just you're just like shoehorned into one style and i don't fucking get it so that is all i have and i will see y'all at some point all right later